If you purchased your domain through Google when you signed up for Google Apps, we set up a few convenient web addresses or subdomains for you. For example, if you go to mail.yourdomain.com, you're redirected to Gmail. And this works by default for a few other web addresses. Of course, if you purchased your domain through a separate domain provider, you can create custom web addresses for your organization as well. You'll need to adjust settings in the Google Apps control panel and then some DNS or zone file settings with your domain host for each of the custom addresses you create. So let's start by logging into the Google Apps control panel. From here, you can use the product setting shortcuts or click settings. From the services list, select the product you want and look for the general category. You'll want to find the web address settings for the product and if the address can be customized, you'll see a link to change URL. Click the link and change the URL's subdomain for your organization and then click save changes. At this point, you're given some special instructions on how to change the URL with your domain host. Make sure you follow these instructions because they'll be specific to your domain and account. What we're showing here is an example and your instructions could be different. In this example, we need to log into our domain host, GoDaddy, and make changes to the CNAME values, which is an option in the domain settings. We want to create a record that points mail.cloudeasel.com to ghs.google.com. So I'll open up a new browser window and log into my domain host and find the domain settings. This process may be different for every domain host, and even if you use GoDaddy, the process to find the domain settings may change. So refer to your domain host documentation on how to change these settings. In this example, we're looking for the DNS manager. And since your settings might look different from what's shown here, let's talk about what DNS does and why we're changing these settings. DNS stands for Domain Name System. Every website uses some form of DNS to allow people to enter in easy to remember domain names instead of entering in a long IP address to access sites. So you can think of DNS settings as the internet's address book. And in this internet address book, DNS settings have different types of records or entries. The A record directs people to the address of the web server. CNAME records, which is what we're editing, lets you set subdomains, like the mail.cloudeasel.com subdomain we want to create. Often there are other settings here too, like MX records, which set how email finds your account. But let's focus on the subdomain settings for now. If we refer back to the instructions given in the Google Apps control panel, we need to enter mail as an alias for the domain. I don't have a mail entry yet, so I'll create a new record and set the entry to mail. Now I want to set the destination of this mail entry to ghs.google.com. There's an option here for TTL. It looks like most of my entries are set to one hour, so I'll leave this at one hour as well. TTL stands for time to live and controls how often DNS records are refreshed. When you're done adding the record, make sure to save your changes and then go back to the Google Apps control panel and click I've completed these steps. This will start the verification process. Be aware that the verification process takes time. Remember that TTL setting? Well, there are millions of DNS records on the internet and it can take time for all of these settings to refresh. So although most changes start to update when you click save, it can take anywhere from an hour to 48 hours for all the applicable DNS records to update. But once the changes have had a chance to update, your users can use the custom web address to access their mail, calendar, drive, and sites. If you have questions about setting up a new CNAME record, we have some resources that can help. Check out the links below on the Google Apps Administration Help Center.